Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I literally just woke up. That's why I look like a hot mess. I look like I just literally rolled on my bed because I did. I haven't even drank coffee. I still kind of have my morning voice. But I wanted you guys to see me in my natural state, my natural messiness. And as you can see, it is also my wash day, so my hair is just all kinds of fucked up. Like, it just looks really frizzy. My bangs were horrible this week. And I decided, you know what? It's time to switch something up because I'm tired of this happening. I'm tired of my the front part of my hair frizzing up. Um, I'm gonna try a different product and see if that helps. So you may or may not Ugh god good get down here. Um yeah, you may or may not know that I use mainly Diva Curl products because I went to Diva Curl Salon and all the products that the lady used I ended up really liking. So for shampoo and conditioner I use their Decadence line and then once I rinse all that out I start styling. And I always start out with the Diva Curl Believe In. The Diva Curl Believe In is $20 for 6 ounces so that's about $3.34 an ounce. It is kind of up there for a leave-in conditioner. I honestly didn't think I would like this so much when I bought it. Like, I didn't really see anything super different about this compared to other leave-ins I've used. But now that I've used it for a while and I've had time to compare, I do like how shiny this makes my hair feel. And I feel like it's just a really good leave-in conditioner. It just makes my curls look healthy. And it keeps them all moisturized for a few days before... This starts happening like my bangs just started frizzing up like after like my first day even my first day it looked kind of weird it's described as a lightweight jelly that contains a conditioning and strengthening blend of wheat protein lemongrass and chamomile moisturizing formula adds instant shine and volume and plumpness to the curls so yeah like I said earlier I think it does make my curls look nice and healthy a lot of people do complain that this flakes all over the place personally for me I've been using it since like December or something and it's never flaked on me however Diva Curl shook the world a couple months ago because they released a new leave-in part of their decadence line and that is the Diva Curl leave-in decadence so if you're a decadence lover you use a shampoo conditioner I guess this was aimed towards this if you don't know what the decadence actually means it's for people like us that have super curly hair we can't use the original one because we need more moisture now this is $26 for 8 ounces so you get a tad bit more but it's a tad bit pricier so it seems like it's more expensive but really I use my calculator and it's three dollars and twenty five cents an ounce so if you want to get really technical this would be the better value but honestly it's like you're saving like ten cents so it's not really that good you know what I'm saying it is described as a lightweight leave-in that has canola piqui chufa and all this conditions the hair protects and adds shine moisture and controls frizz so controlling frizz that is definitely what I need. I haven't even tried this yet, however, I thought it'd be a good idea if I tried this out half and half. You know, I did a little comparison video. On one half of my face, I'm going to use the Diva Curl Decadence Leave-In Conditioner. And then on the other half, I'm going to use what I know my Diva Curl Believe In. Now, I know some girls actually just straight up use the Decadence Conditioner as Leave-In. I never have, but if you guys would like to see that comparison, let me know in the comments. I would, I'll do it, you know, for you guys. But I always use the Believe In, so I'm really curious to see it. If they give me this pretty much same exact results and this is just kind of like a different branding so they could sell more, you know, conditioners, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go wash my hair. It is, she is, she's, she's due. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back with my wet noodle hair. I really hate being seen like this because I just feel like my hair being this flat does not flatter my face at all but it's for the purpose of the video so let's just get started all right I'm just gonna hop into the leave-in typically after the shower I always put my leave-in on first so yeah let's start off with the believe-in what I'm familiar with as you can see the smaller one comes in a squeezy tube the bigger one the $40 one comes in a pump and yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze some of that on and as you can see it's a very liquidy gel so I'll just move it's, it's a very, not gel, it's not gel-like at all. It's very just liquidy and clear and stuff. It smells very lemony and grassy. It's, they said it had lemongrass, right? So yeah, just smells very herbal. So yeah, typically this is just how I like to put on my leave-in and how I put on anything really. I just smooth it all throughout my hair. Just gonna add a little more. 
that I like to use a lot. I have a lot of hair. And yeah, just pull that down. If you can hear um, weird animal noises, my puppy is below me chewing on a toy. So yeah, I just put the leave-in in. My hair looks still wet. I mean, you won't see the full magical properties of it until it gets completely dry. So now let's finally try the Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence. What's interesting about this is that even though it only comes in a small size, it includes a pump. Anyway, and it does, they don't have like a bigger size yet. I imagine they probably will soon, but yeah, I'm gonna squirt that. So please excuse the hair on my hand. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the consistency is very different. It's more like a creamy, lo not a lotion, but you know, it's very smooth and not jelly-like at all. And it smells like, I don't know. I would describe the smell as kind of like nutty and herbally too, but I think I prefer the smell of the Believe In More. But anyway, let's just put that throughout my hair. And even though it's a white cream, it doesn't leave like any white cast, I guess. I mean, like you can't really see it just like melts right into the hair. See, I'm gonna add a lot more. That's the Believe In In My Hair. Both sides look exactly identical, but then again, you know, my hair is still wet. Now I guess I'm going to show you what else I'm going to be using in my hair that affects how it looks once it's dry. I always like to use my curl enhancing smoothie. Take that, rub it in between my hands, and just, yeah. I'm sorry, my tank top is so wet. This is so triggering. It looks weird. Curl enhancing smoothie, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not like a gel, but it's, I don't think it's a leave-in. It just, I don't know, it just makes your curls pop. But yeah, I love it. I can never stop using it. Even with all my high-end Diva Curl products, I feel like this one has a really good impact on my curls. But as you can see, you really gotta like massage it in. Otherwise, the product will show all over your hair. Now I'm going to use my Diva Curl Super Cream. I actually don't use this a lot. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I mainly use it for my little brother because it really defines the curls. But since, you know, this is a Diva Curl video, I thought I'd whip it out. So I'm just going to put a little bit. And smooth that all over my hair. And this is a product that, you know, when I went to Diva Curl, the lady used on my hair and I loved it. But once I got it, I didn't really feel the need to use it. Now to finish it all off, I'm going to use my old crusty light defining gel. I'm almost running out of it. It's got some hair gelled onto it. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm pretty nasty. And yeah, I like to use the light one opposed to the ultra one defining one because I feel like the light one just makes my hair look really bouncy, especially with like all this heavy stuff I put into it. If I put, you know, um, ultra, I feel like it would just make my curls look way way too down heavy i guess you would say i mean not heavy what is it called when your hair way down way down there you go all right typically after i pull that stuff in my hair i squeeze out the excess with a shirt and then i dry my hair just a tad bit with a blow dryer so yeah i'll be right back all right guys i'm back after drying my hair just a tad bit as you can see it's still super wet so we will not see the true effects of the condi the leave-ins until tomorrow morning when I check in with you guys. What I'm hoping for is that there is actually a difference and I'm hoping that the decadent side looks more moisturized if possible and bouncier and fuller, I don't know. I mean, I wanna see a big difference to justify, you know, having to switch over to the decadence, which is kind of more expensive. Um, I don't know, but <laughs> technically not. But yeah, um, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning. So, wow. I'm gonna be in the future. Hey guys, it's finally the next morning. My hair is now completely dry. It's been a full 24 hours. I usually just let my hair air dry and yeah, this is how it looks and I'm pretty pleased. I think my hair looks pretty good, but as you may recall, a few seconds ago, I was talking about how I was comparing the leave-in decadence to the believe-in. So how do these two pan out neck to neck? To be honest, just looking at my hair from here, you know, I don't see any sort of real difference. Um, and I don't really feel the difference either. While I was drying, I noticed that the Believe In side did feel a bit more crunch, not like crunchy crunchy, but stiffer, because 
is a little more gel like and this side felt a bit softer but now that it's completely dry i would say they both equally feel soft maybe this one's just a tad tad bit harder as far as frizz control i think they both look equally as frizzy it's not that frizzy my bangs however i feel like my believe in bang side is just a tad bit more frizzy than the believe in side i don't know what you guys think let me just show you but i don't know maybe the difference is more noticeable for the viewer watching maybe while i'm editing this i'll see a big difference but honestly if you have the believe in you don't have to run out and get the decadence leave-in conditioner because you're really not missing out on much and since they're pretty much the same value i would say if you have 3c and up hair it's really a toss-up whatever you want maybe if your hair is curlier than mine like 4a 4b 4c you might see more of a difference with this one because i feel like it is a bit moisturizing and if you have like 2a 2b 2c hair i would recommend the believe in because it's just more gel like and i feel like this would weigh your hair down but I don't know if you have any of the threes three hair i think you could go with either of these but yeah that's pretty much it i don't really prefer one over the other um i guess i might switch over to the decadence one next time if i run out of both because it is a better value but other than that i mean they're both good products but yeah i mean let me know what you guys think do you see a big difference have you tried either of these products I'd like to know. I think that's basically it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. And I'm sorry about my eyebrows. <sighs> you know, some days I just can't deal with them. But yeah, bye.